guys, my name is Apollo, and today I'm going to show you the first part of my new tutorial series on modding Spider-Man Remastered for PC. Today we're going to be going over basic model importation, so I'm going to be walking you through all the steps you need to go through to get your custom model in Spider-Man Remastered. Now, just for a quick disclaimer, this method at any time could become outdated, so please refer to the Spider-Man PC modding Discord server, which I'll link to in the description of this video. Uh, to be kept updated to the latest modding news and tools because this is just what currently is the newest method so for now i'm just going to be showing you the latest method just a quick side note i do recommend when installing any new tools for spider-man remastered to disable your windows defender antivirus and any third-party antiviruses you have most antiviruses flag nearly any program you download that utilizes dll files which are dependencies for most apps to run that aren't from a first party vendor like microsoft to disable windows defender open your search bar with windows and s and type in windows security and open windows defender after that select virus and threat protection manage settings and turn off real-time protection. We'll be adding exclusions to our tools here in a bit, just so our antivirus doesn't falsely pick up our tools as viruses after enabling it again. If you believe these files are actual viruses and I'm just trying to troll you to install them, that's your loss. They're not actually viruses, but I mean, I'm just a stranger on the internet, so you don't have to believe me if you don't want to. All right, now we're gonna open all links I have in the description to download all necessary tools. Note that some of these must be downloaded from the Spider-Man PC modding Discord server exclusively, so again, make sure to join there. We're gonna be downloading Chekhov's, I hope I pronounced your name right, GY wrapper for Daemon's model converter, which includes the base tool as well. Blender if you don't have it already, of course, and along with that, the XNA Lara Mesh Blender plugin, and of course, Jad Josh's SMPC modding tool to replace and extract assets within the game. So after you've downloaded all the necessary tools, you're gonna want to go ahead and make a new folder. I'm gonna call it Spider-Man PC Modding for all your modding stuff. Make sure to make a new appropriate folder for all new downloads, such as your own mods, others' mods, tools, and more. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a new folder, call it My Mods. I'm gonna make another folder and call it Tools. So what I'm gonna go do is I'm gonna go into Tools. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to double click on the model ASCII GUI wrapper.zip file. I'm gonna make a new folder in tools and name it model to ASCII converter. So inside there, I'll just drag and drop all these files. Then I'll go back to tools. I'll make another folder and call it SMPC tool. I'll go ahead and drag and drop everything into here. Now I'll make another folder and call it XNALR mesh. Uh, do note that since uh, the XPS Tools plugin is a Blender plugin, you don't need to extract it or anything, it's just a .zip file that will be loading into Blender in just a little bit. Alright, now once you've extracted all those, you can go ahead and delete the rest of the zip files and any archives you have since we already extracted everything, except of course the XNLR mesh plugin that I just mentioned a bit ago. So then we're gonna go back to our tools folder. We're gonna go to SMPC tool and we're gonna launch SMPC tool.executable. All right, so this window will pop up where we'll say select asset archive folder. So what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna wanna click on Steam here. You're gonna wanna right click on Spider-Man Remastered, click on properties, go to local files, click browse, and then you're gonna want to copy this file path. So you're gonna wanna click on the file path here, press control V to paste into that file path. You're going to want to click on this asset archive folder and then click open and then you're going to want to click save here so it'll say asset archive set so basically we're just directing our smpc tool to where all of our internal game files are stored all right and now we can go ahead and open blender so really quick i'm going to show you how to install that plugin we just downloaded a bit ago so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to uh go to edit and then you're going to want to go to preferences you're going to want to go to add-ons you're going to want to click install navigate over to wherever you downloaded the Blender plugin, and we'll just install that. And now you're gonna want to search here, XNA, Lara, and make sure it is ticked and fully enabled. All right, now that we're done with that, we can head back over to the SMPC tool. So to find the model you want to replace, check the TXT file I have linked in the description here. Uh, credit goes to Medi for the original thread post in the Spider-Man modding Discord server. So this includes all of the internal file names for all suits in game. So I'm going to be replacing the feature foundation suit. So if I just copy the name here, we can just click search, find, search for, paste it in. Then for the filters, we're going to narrow it down to only dot model files. Can it click search? And once you find your model, just double click it. 
right click on extract asset and then you can go to your modding folder we'll go to my mods i'll make a new folder and call it tutorial suit make a new folder and call it model extract so we'll just go inside there and then we're going to save that dot model file all right, so now we have our dot model file extracted, but as you can guess, we can't put that into Blender directly, but we can convert it to an ASCII file that our XNLR Mesh Blender plugin can import and export. So what you're gonna want to do is go to your Spider-Man modding folder, go to tools, you're gonna wanna go to model to ASCII converter. I just now realized I didn't spell model right, so you're gonna wanna go inside of here, open model ASCII G Ryo. Uh, I can't talk, sorry. Model ASCII GUI wrapper.exe. We'll just click more info, run anyway here. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to select dot model to dot ASCII, click browse here, and then you're going to want to go over to your modding folder, my mods, tutorial suit, model extract, basically just wherever you save that dot model file. You're going to want to click open, click convert. So we're just going to save that dot ASCII file in the exact same folder as the dot model file. Alright, so now if we go over to my mods, tutorial suit, model extract, you'll notice that we have two new files, being the .ascii file and a file that ends in materials.txt. We'll get into this file in a bit, but for now let's just import that ascii file into Blender. So I'll just copy this file path, go into Blender, just delete everything here, file, import, xnailara.ascii, then we'll paste in that directory and import our .ascii file. So here's our extracted model in Blender now. So I would say for editing it, you can do whatever you want. If this is your first project, I advise doing nothing too crazy. I would only edit a tiny bit of the model personally, but still enough to see if it works and appears in game. So I'm gonna do is I'm going to remove a part of the mesh, but first before we do that, I have to go over materials really quick and what they are and how they're applied. All right, so this is a very oversimplified version of materials and how I'm gonna be explaining them. But think of materials as repositories slash libraries of textures. I'll try to go too in depth, but imagine having multiple texture maps all in one package applied for each section of the suit. For example, material for the mask, torso, legs, etc. Spider-Man Remaster assigns these materials in the alphabetical order of all meshes' names. So if we go back to that materials.txt file that our model to ASCII GUI converter tool exported earlier, um, you'll see that there are two main sections in this file of these uh, material file paths. So we have materials used and slots. So the slots are just all listed dot material files that are linked to the dot model file. So basically not, not necessarily all slots are used, but uh, to see which are used, we can go to materials used. Now you'll notice that each one has a number associated with it, so it goes from for this model to 0 to 9, so 10 material slots. However, if we go back to the top, you'll notice that there is 4, 9, 8, etc. This is just how Spider-Man Remaster applies these material files. It is, and all these materials are applied in this order on the top where it says materials used in alphabetical order of all meshes in that dot ascii file or dot model file etc so for example the first material slot here is the web shooter but on the top it is the feet or i'm going to just be referring to it as the shoes so if i go in and back into blender here open up this armature you'll notice that if i select the first alphabetically ordered uh mesh here if I go down, it is in fact the shoes and it is definitely not his web shooters. So pretty much if we want to remove a part of the mesh, we can't just delete something like this. So if I selected, let's say the torso, this is in the middle of all slots here for all separate sub meshes. So for example, if I went X and just deleted that, you'll notice that everything slides down one slot and then all materials applied would be completely messed up. Now this wouldn't be the end of the world, but it would take us a lot more work when we can save ourselves a huge headache by doing something I like to call turning the mesh into a dummy mesh. So basically turning a mesh into a dummy mesh means you're making it a singular polygon with which will not display slash be rendered in game, but it'll still save that slot for us. To do this, you can just select the mesh you want to remove, press tab, make sure all vertices are selected if you press A, press M and press at center. So you'll notice here that we have a single polygon, but it's still holding that slot for us. So if you want to, go ahead and mess with another mesh. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to also remove 
with these lens meshes. They're actually two for the future foundation suit for some reason. So basically now, again, we're not messing up those slots at all. And again, we don't need to mess with those slots at all. We don't want to have to do all this extra work uh, when we can just turn them into dummy meshes. So uh, again, if you're if you're a beginner, don't do anything too crazy yet. Uh, so like porting a whole nother character, you know, don't do that just yet. Just play around with model importation and just do something easy on yourself. All right, and just a reminder, if you want to save your work in Blender, just go to File, Save As, and then find a place to save your .blend project file. So I'll put in Tutorial Suit, I'll make a new folder called Project Files. I'll just name this Tutorial Suit, and I'll save it as a .blend file. Now once you're satisfied with your new edited mesh, just press A in object mode to select all meshes here. Go to file, go to export, and then we'll export as a .ascii file. So what I'm gonna do is I'll make another folder called custom model. So I'll make sure this is a .ascii file, I'll just name this tutorial suit.ascii. I'll save that, and now we're gonna go back to our model to ASCII converter. We're going to go to the second tab that's .ascii to .model. You can click browse .ascii. So we're going to just go find really quick our custom .ascii file where it says browse .model. You're just going to want to find your original extracted .model file and we don't have to worry about browse materials.txt for now. So now I can just click convert and then we can save this wherever we want. So I'm just going to put it in custom model. I'll save that .ascii file back as a .model file. So now what we can do is go back to the SMPC tool, find that .model file again, but this time we'll right click and click replace asset in mod, find custom model, and we'll just import this .model file that's brand new and edited into the game. Now if you want to create a mod file, you can go here and fill out all this information. You can click test mod, and it'll install a temporary throwaway mod that won't have any other mods applied just for a testing environment. But most importantly, you can go to file, save project, and again save this somewhere. So I'll just name this tutorial suit. If you need to load up that project file again, just click file, load project, and select your SMPC PRJ file. So now it should be working, and congratulations on making your very first import. So again, if you have any more troubles, just check in the Spider-Man PC modding Discord server. If you have any questions related to 3D modeling and models, just ask in that channel, and same thing goes for custom model import. They're pretty self-explanatory. But thank you for sticking around, hope this tutorial has been helpful, and I really hope to make more of these soon. But uh, yeah, if you want to, feel free to subscribe and or like the video. But until next time, peace.